Yo, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another Rune Fest 2018 coverage video. For this video, we're going to be talking about alchemical onyx jewelry. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yeah, this is the Illus. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, so this was actually shown off back in April in the Game Jam, or well, so we got the earliest stages of it, and back then, when I did cover it on the channel, some of the jewelry wasn't fully fleshed out in the design documents that we did see. In other words, it wasn't feature complete. But it looks like they're coming around to finishing it up, and we'll discuss what they showed off this year at RuneFest. So, there will be three new pieces of Alchemical Onyx equipment coming. Grace of the Elves, a Necklace, Ingenuity of Humans, a new Sigil, and Passage of the Abyss, a new Pocket Slot item. So we're going to go over each individual one separately and talk about exactly what they do, how they work, the whole nine yards. So starting off with the Grace of the Elves, like I said, this is a necklace. It will be non-degradable, and it's going to help you out while skilling. It can store up to 500 charges for the sign of the porter using porters on it, and it'll act like a sign of the porter when you're wearing it. It can also teleport you to skilling portals that are directed inside the Max Guild. If you don't have access to the Max Guild, you have a one-off attunement that must be retuned at the Garden, assuming you want to change teleports. It also reduces the drain rate of your Saren prayers, like Light Form and Super Heat Form, so you don't have to use nearly as much prayer. Also, while skilling, you have a chance to roll on the Rare Drop Table, which does mean that you can wear a Luck of the Dwarves with the Grace of the Elves, and you'll have a chance at getting a Hazelmere Signet Ring while skilling, which is actually a pretty cool feature, and if anybody happens to get one like that through skilling, would be a really cool sight to see to say the least. Moving on, we got the Ingenuity of Humans. This is was previously actually called the Lucky Strike. It is a sigil, so it'll occupy the sigil slot, obviously. And what it'll do is it'll guarantee that your next hit lands, or it has 100% accuracy, so to speak. Actually, it has some really unique implications. So it's going to degrade, unlike the Luck of the Dwarves and the Grace of the Elves, and will require fortunate components to recharge. This will work with both abilities and spells, ultimately allowing players to use things like vulnerability or the Stadius Warhammer while on different combat styles, which could really change up the game for melee and range alike. The final item we have is the Passage of the Abyss. This is a pocket slot item, which will allow you to hold up to six different compacted jewelry all in one item. So you don't need to carry around a whole bunch of new items if you're doing something like clue scrolling, you just carry around one Passage of the Abyss. So like I said, it could store any of the compacted jewelry, six of them in total made from invention, things like your Amulets of Glories, Ring of Dueling, etc. Passage of the Abyss can also be recolored, so if you have multiple Passages of the Abyss, you will know exactly which one is associated with which tellies based on whatever color you assigned to any given one. And much like the Ingenuity of Humans, teleporting with the Passage of the Abyss does degrade the item, and again, it can be recharged with fortunate components. So the simple fact that both those two items use up fortunate components, or will be consuming fortunate components, will hopefully make the items that disassemble into fortunate components, things like whatever you get from Clue Scrolls, hold value for a very long time. At least that's what I think the aim of these types of jewelries is trying to achieve. Now I don't know exactly when these will come into the game, all they said is it's going to be in the coming months, so maybe somewhere around January or February. December if we're lucky, I'm not too sure, but probably early next year. So let me know what you guys think about all these jewelries. Which one are you going to be using the most? Which one do you not really care for necessarily? All that good stuff down in the comments below. And with that, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Peace.